Santa Monica, one of California's least safe cities. A new report looking at crime rates says yes. And neighbors say it's proof. It's time to focus on making the city safer again. KCAL 9's Rick Montanez live in Santa Monica tonight with reaction and a look at those statistics. Rick. Yeah, Leslie, there's a lot that makes Santa Monica a destination city. The pier, the beach, the shopping, and everyone we talked with today who lives here says they're not surprised to see Santa Monica at the bottom of that safety list. Santa Monica is known for pristine views, live music and dancing at the Third Street Promenade, and strolls along the pier. But there is a new spotlight as this beach city recently ranked near last at 224th out of 230 in SafeWise.com's safest cities in California. That's humiliating. Jenna McLaughlin is a lifelong resident, and this ranking for her is the worst news. Terrible. Uh, that's why we have a group called Santa Monica's Against Crime. We've been trying to get the word out, and I feel really bad for people who don't know, like tourists. The SafeWise ranking only looks at two factors for its safety ratings property and violent crime. Neighbors and city leaders acknowledge both are a problem. Just last week, St. Monica's Catholic Church suffered a huge loss when someone damaged offering containers and stole the church's live streaming equipment. And last October, a woman was beaten and stabbed on her way to an exercise class. Everybody is in a constant state of, of, of alertness and nervousness, it seems. Everybody's looking over their shoulder. Santa Monica City Councilman Phil Brock says he and others are working to improve safety. A lot of this is having enough police on the streets. A lot of this is activating neighborhoods, having neighborhood watches, not to let people uh, be on our streets not to let them go unattended from street services to medical services to police that we are actively uh, stopping those people from being on the streets. Only two Southland cities ranked lower than Santa Monica. Compton came in at 225 and San Bernardino ranked second to last. On the other side of the scale, Rancho Santa Margarita and Moore Park ranked second and third. Neighbors say they are seeing some action like this surveillance system that was just set up at Reed Park. McLaughlin hopes to see her city rise from the bottom of that safety list. Because that's not the Santa Monica that we all knew and loved. We, we still love it, but we want it to be safer. A task with no simple solution. I also reached out to the city of Santa Monica for an official response to that ranking. The city said tonight in an email that violent crime has gone down each year since 2018. The city hopes that the police department can build on that momentum and see crime statistics continue downward. You can read the full response from the city and see some of those statistics on our website, kcal9.com. Live in Santa Monica, Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News.